Keely Hodgkinson produced one of the dominant performances of Paris 2024. But to win another Olympic gold, to win world gold, break world records, this is where she has to go. Six thousand feet up in the Pyrenees mountains, where the air is thin, the work painful and punishing. Joe said, "If you become an Olympic champion, um, I'll forgive you Sunday, Pop." Is he stuck to his word? Yeah, he has. Yeah. How much are you lifting? Probably sixty. She's got a lot of power in the hands of the new boots. Because of the thinner air, it, it makes adaptations to your blood, so. All the sessions that you're doing, you get a, a double effect from them, basically. Uh, so you go home and you're in a lot fitter place. Places like this, um, you know, you don't, you don't see this on, on TV, do you, when you're winning? Once you've won Olympic gold, where do you then go? Obscurity or greatness? Hodgkinson knows. She knew before the 800 metre final last August. Did you know you were going to win? Um... Yeah, <laughs> I think you have, um, I feel like I'm quite intuitive sometimes and I just felt like um, I'd done all the work to make sure that this was like my year. Uh, I really felt like it was and even when I was in Paris, I felt like all I had to do was just not get in any trouble, not fall over and I just felt like it, it was already kind of written and I do believe that some of our races are already kind of written. You just have to let it play out and that helped me stay calm through all of the madness. That moment. What do you remember? I think I remember feeling a lot of relief uh, because, you know, you build up for such this big moment and nobody really tells you what to do afterwards. It's all about just getting there. And then once you're there, it's kind of this relief, the shock, the excitement. The, I saw so many of my family members, members on the victory lap. Um, people I didn't even know were going to be there. People that come out last minute, um, who got tickets, flown in all kinds of directions from all over the place. At just 22 years of age, Keeley has nine senior medals. An Olympic gold, though, changes everything. Paul Chaffer, please give a big welcome to the Olympic gold medalist, Keeley Hutchinson. That was really fun. I think the best part was, well, seeing my mum's face because she's a huge United fan. And um, we got to meet Sir Alex and a couple I didn't know what the players were, but my mum did, um, and she was buzzing, so it was just nice to give them that experience as well. What's changed? How's um, it changed you? How's it changed your life? I really wanted to just embrace everything that came of it, so I had some really good opportunities that came up with something really fun. I got to really enjoy being an Olympic champion, um, which is crazy, the difference between a silver and a gold <laughs> sometimes, which is, which is mad. But Go on. <laughs> <laughs> It's just things like, you know, people are a bit more aware if you're an Olympic champion than a silver medalist. It's just like having that title, I think, is just a bit more known. And in Britain, we are a small country, but we really get behind the Olympics and people really enjoy watching it. And those seeing a young girl get a gold medal, I think it kind of, and maybe the blonde hair as well, kind of um, sticks in their mind a little bit more. Part of Keeley's success, a coaching team of a husband and wife who've become a second family. I actually thought no one is going to beat Keeley. The only way Keeley could lose is if she didn't keep her composure. But I had 100% faith that Keeley can line up on the day, keep that composure. If she's got the leg speed to get close to the, her big rivals, uh, they can't outstrength her. So um, it, it's a magic formula, really. Did you know that they knew <laughs> that you were yeah, ready to win? Yeah, because we have these conversations where I, I do, a lot of my belief is done off what they believe. Like if they tell me Keeley can go on 55 today, then I will believe I can. It's, it's kind of a communication of process, I'd say. But I think what works best well for us is, is they plan my life so well that I'm able... You keep on saying I know, it. You true. keep on saying <laughs> Like, my mum and my dad and Jen and Chad together, they, like, they make it so that I literally can just turn up to training, do the training and focus solely on that, and I don't have outside stresses. Gold at Paris was just a mere taste of what could come. There's no silvers and bronzes now. We've got to be gold all the way forwards. We don't want to take any backward steps. I, I just hopefully think we can, well, Keely can, dominate. And um, we've got the world indoor record to go at. The next couple of years, we've got that really tough world record to go at. But I think she can do it. We all, we all believe, we know 
what comes next and Trevor's the man with a plan. He knows what to no nudge pressure. and when no to pressure. nudge it. Yeah. <laughs> plan is nothing but gold and a world record. Well, world records in well, the outdoor. Well, it hasn't outdoor. been broke for 40 years. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's been broke for 41 years. Yeah. The, the indoor one's easier to get than the outdoor, but, you know, we'll have a crack at both and see what, see how, what, see what happens. All good? Yeah. See you in a bit, guys. See you. So, for Team Keeley, the ambition is clearly sky high. Something that does not daunt her. I think there's still so much I haven't achieved yet um, and there's still so much to do so like I still don't have a world indoor or a world outdoor um, gold medal. I have silvers. Um, there's so many championships I think that there's, there's records to break, there's new boundaries to push and I think the Olympic gold was hopefully just the start of many more to come. I'm hoping I've at least got two more Olympics in me, maybe three. LA 2028. Well I'll be 26 which is the start of my prime allegedly. Um, so yeah, I think it's just getting to LA and doing it all over again. To be the best doesn't just happen. Keely's altitude training in the Pyrenees will be followed up with hard days in the rain and cold at home around Manchester. Further altitude camps later this year and early next year before the Olympic champion goes for nothing but gold in 2025. Guaranteed Sky Sports, French Pyrenees.